Eh, I suppose yung big surprise, kasi all this time that we were that uh, that Congress had been talking about postponing uh, the barangay elections, uh, that the presumption was that we will get to save money at itatabing perang yon for other important critical expenses. I suppose yung right. big surprise uh, for many, I don't know about Congress, but at least for us, was uh, sabi ng Comelec, hindi mas malaking gasos natin by five billion pesos daw kung magpapospon po tayo ng elections. Uh, how, uh, well, to begin with po, uh, how do you react to that? Uh, itutuloy pa ho ba itong postponement? Well, firstly, ang budget lamang ngayon ng COMELEC for the Barangay and SK elections, as mentioned in the hearing, is only 8.4 billion. Apo. And I have to be honest with you, I, don't, I do not think that 8.4 billion will be sufficient for the holding of the SK and Barangay elections for this December 2022. Okay. And Why let not? us go back to the national elections, last elections which we have last May. Last May, we have approximately 160,000 presents. In every present, we are paying the chairman 10,000 pesos, we are paying the poll clerk 8,000 pesos, and the third member we have to pay 7,000 pesos. Mm -hmm. Conservatively, we shall be spending, or we have spent, 30,000 pesos per cluster present. Apo. And that would amount already to 4.8 billion, not to mention the other expenses, most especially those pertaining to mm -hmm. COVID. Honorary pa lang yan, In the Barangay so and SK elections, I have to emphasize, number one, it is a manual election. Mm -hmm. Number two, in every clustered present, there will, there will be 400 voters for the SK and another 400 for the voters for the Barangay. And theoretically, mm -hmm. we have to double the 160,000 clustered present in the mm -hmm. presidential elections as compared to the Barangay and SK elections. And that okay. would total 320,000 clustered presents. Okay. At the rate we are giving 30,000 pesos, then you can just imagine that 8.4 billion will not be enough for the remuneration or allowances of our teachers and other persons who shall be manning the Barangay and SK elections. And I think the COMELEC will confirm the figures which I have stated. Yes, sir. So, so but, uh, yes, sir. Uh, they came in there. Hindi ho ba nagpunta sila sa hearing on the assumption yes. nga that the budget is really 8.4. Uh, yes. So, kumbaga, that's already, as far as they're concerned, napag-usapan na yun, napag-usang ayuna na yun, okay na yun. Pero so, uh, 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 oh, oh. You can yes, verify with the government as to whether or not what I am saying is accurate or not. Because there will be more present sa barangay and SK elections. Because they, we will be voting for the SK and at the same time voting for the barangay ang present, ang butante sa bawat presinto 400 for SK and another 400 for the barangay elections. So there will be more present as compared to the number of presidents in the last national election. So because of that, you've decided that it's better to postpone? Dahil hindi but definitely. Kayo, hindi kayo, no. you, you, don't, you don't think that it's going to cost only 8.4? Is that the point? You, you think that it'll cost yes. more? And, and hence, it, it's too expensive. So let's, what, but what if the no, it's is not the only, issue. The issue is the practicality. Do we have sufficient funds to hold the election this December? If 8.4 billion will not be sufficient, where shall we get the additional billions of pesos to be used for the December 2022 Barangay and SK elections? And let me also lay the premise. We are living in a working democracy. And whenever there is an issue, there are always two sides. And this is in accordance with the basic rule that we have to agree or disagree we have to provide your process. In this particular case, many are claiming that so many are in favor of continuing the elections. 
But then what would be their basis? And I don't think that number is not that many. And I will be citing the reasons. Number one, for the first time in the history of postponement of barangay and, six, uh, and SK elections, there were or there are 38 bills is sponsored by more than 40 legislators. Secondly, organizations like the League of Municipalities are in favor of the postponement of the barangay elections. Even the National Youth Commission is in favor of postponing the elections. And even the barangay officials, although you might consider this self-serving, they are also in favor of postponing the elections. And in so far as the records of the House are concerned, the usual watchdog in the election are the one objecting to the postponement of the elections. As a legislator and as a lawyer, I have been always saying that unanimity is not possible in a working democracy. What okay. we have to consider is the sentiments of the majority and based on these groups, together with the 38 congressmen, we are really optimistic that the sentiment of the general public, as represented by these elected officials, would be for the postponement of the elections.